Ding, 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 round one, fight. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fights on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the craziest verbal and physical altercations to ever occur on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. I swear to God, I don't care if I get locked up! I'll kill her! Number 10, Jennifer vs. Margaret. At Margaret's invitation, the Real Housewives take a girl's trip to Oklahoma. Unfortunately, some of them were at odds with the local customs, particularly Jennifer. What a <laughs> snore. No, <laughs> what, did <you> say? <laughs> snore. what did she just say? Snore. After attending a party hosted by Margaret's friends, she launches into a tirade about her hatred for the country music they played. The other women don't take kindly to her attitude, chastising Jennifer and calling her socially inappropriate. I mean, it's a little socially inappropriate when okay, someone so invites I'm you to their home. What are you going to do about it? No offense. I, mean, I just feel like you just like to one up everybody. This does not go over well, and soon the entire room is engulfed in a petty argument over Jen's behavior. It's another classic The Real Housewives of New Jersey example of drama that just didn't need to be. I don't like the music. I'm entitled to my opinion. I, I, you yeah, know, there's a time and place. Yeah. There is time and place. I mean, and Polly's her best friend. She just needs a really, yeah, she really like, like special she weekend and a big out. party. Oh my god! Number 9. The Fight at Posh Whenever the ladies of Real Housewives of New Jersey hit the town, there's bound to be drama. I want to talk to you. Are you all going to talk at the same time? Are we doing one on one? What are we no, doing? No, I mean, are they scaring you? These no, two ladies? no, no, no. I'm okay, not afraid so at what's all. The problem? While crashing the annual posh fashion show, Teresa and the rest of the girls get into it with Dolores, Siggy, and Kim D. The primary topic of discussion? The rumors that Kim D has been spreading about Teresa, involving her alleged infidelity while Joe's been in prison. I have girls models here that saw you out. You're going out to clubs every freaking night. Oh my god, and who gives a f what I do? Her. You go out to clubs, right? Kim, you're the queen of going out. Wait a minute, I don't have a husband and kids. While all of the real housewives of New Jersey ladies are quick to get in Kim's face, Teresa is the one with the biggest axe to grind. But any of you are white trash. You you're are. the one who was you in are. jail, not you me, bitch. However, after Kim refers to all of them as dirty bitches, things start to get out of hand. Soon, chairs and insults are being hurled indiscriminately, culminating with the ladies storming off. You can touch me and you're done. So come at me, bitch! Come at me! Number 8. Caroline vs. Danielle You want to know something? I'm not. You know what you are? You know what you are? You're a clown. Whenever two of the Real Housewives of New Jersey sit down to hash out a problem, sparks inevitably fly. Case in point, this season 2 summit between Danielle and Caroline. After spending much of the season in constant conflict, the two women decided to sit down together with the hope of resolving their issues. Primarily, Caroline tries to convince Danielle to drop assault charges against Ashley, which she refuses. What she did was illegal. Agreed. I am not going to argue that no point. reason to ever do that. When you assault somebody physically, you do have to, and I did have to, be punished. This effectively ends any chance of the woman coming to an agreement, and the sit-down soon turns into a shouting match, with Caroline calling Danielle a clown and garbage. You will not hurt me. Do you know why? There are I have integrity, okay, and I sit here and I tell you the truth, okay? When I called you garbage, I meant that you were garbage. Number 7. Danielle versus Dolores when a conversation between two people gets to the point where one of them is screaming scumbag at the top of their lungs, you know you're watching The Real Housewives of New Jersey. You're a crazy scumbag. I, 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 scumbag! No, no, I'm scumbag! No, I'm Welcome back, scumbag! This little brouhaha actually started off quite civilly, with Teresa, Dolores, Danielle, and others sitting down to peacefully hash out their problems. I did not think a cake being thrown across the floor was something that I would do, and I was upset about it. All right, we ate the f***ing cake. We ate it! However, when Dolores vehemently claims that she never let anyone speak badly about Teresa behind her back, Danielle pipes up, revealing that Dolores came to her in private to badmouth Teresa. And you said to me about Teresa, Teresa doesn't care about anyone or any anything more than money. You mother liar! This sets off a firestorm, with Dolores getting in Danielle's face and calling her the aforementioned insult. As far as the Real Housewives of New Jersey fights go, we give this one a 7. All I have to say is this, Teresa. Sleep with one eye open because she's up to no good. Number 6. Kim G versus the Manzo Family During a Christmas party at the Manzo house back in Season 3, Kim G couldn't help but stir up trouble. Say hi to Monica again! Oh my, I think I met you at the fashion show, right? I'm a lawyer, but I'm also I'm seeing Teresa. 
The primary reason for the altercation was Kim's insistence that her lawyer friend, Monica Chacon, be allowed to stay at the party. It's a holiday party and I really am so sorry, but I don't want any like craziness going on. So if you wouldn't mind, I can't let Monica stay. I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't do that. However, the Manzos felt that it would be best if she left, seeing as how she was the prosecuting attorney in a case against Teresa and Joe. You, you don't what? know me, believe me, no. when I tell you it's been three and a half years of complete torture and nightmare on my part, dealing with Teresa? the two of them. With both sides refusing to budge, things quickly got nasty. Kim G and Monica ultimately got the boot, but not before the former had set her peace. Why would you care if the girl's here or not? What are you looking at? Number 5. The Blowout in Milan they should have called this episode The Real Housewives of New Jersey Fights Without Borders. I told you. Tick, 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 boom! During a trip to Milan, the ladies couldn't resist getting into a screaming match in the middle of dinner. Past indiscretions are brought up, battle lines are drawn, and soon the women are less concerned with their hors d'oeuvres and more concerned with tearing each other's throats out. You guys have known me for the longest. I want you to stop listening and really stand up for your friend. But when did you stick up for us with Kim D? However, the women do unite against Siggy when she calls Margaret anti-Semitic, even though Margaret is married to a Jewish man and raising her children to be Jewish. How dare you say I can't stand Jews? How dare me? That is f***ing bullshit. You're the whole thing was a big, ugly mess. However, the real losers are the people dining in the background who just wanted to have a nice meal. Number 4. Joe vs. Joe at the Retreat We've seen a lot of different fights so far, but this is the first where actual blows were thrown. The incident occurred during the appropriately titled Season 5 episode, Scum 1, Scum All. Let's go, baby! I have 10 years of hate against this man. On a retreat in Lake George, New York, things got messy when Teresa's brother Joe Gorga called her scum. He just called me scum. I want to leave. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. No, please, please, no, 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 Joe, no, 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 it's good. Just relax. relax. Joe, I'm going to tell him to apologize. Upon hearing this, Teresa's husband Joe Judice confronts him and demands an apology. Without thinking twice, Gorga attacks him and soon everyone in the room is trying to separate the two warring parties. Once they're pulled apart, it's revealed that Gorga bit Judice on the testicles. Talk about fighting dirty. Number 3. Teresa Chases Danielle Few of the Real Housewives of New Jersey fights have been as memorable as this one. During a night at the country club, Teresa and Danielle couldn't help but let their emotions fly. Get her away from me! Get her away! Don't hold me! You Okay. The fight gave us some of their most unforgettable quotes, from the I'm from Patterson line to Danielle reminding Teresa that her $5 million home is in foreclosure. Yeah, I saw the house you lived in, Teresa, before you moved yeah, into so the what, mansion. Bitch? I live in a $5 million home now. Bro. It is in foreclosure! Despite mobs of people trying to hold them back, they just keep going, with Teresa straight up chasing Danielle around the room, all the while calling her a coke whore and a bitch. You're yeah. With the country club in disarray, Danielle in tears, and Teresa ready to scrap, this fight is one that viewers will never forget. Let her alone! Oh, love and light! Let her alone! Oh, no. Number 2. The Christening Fight The Real Housewives of New Jersey fights are like car crashes. You want to look away, but no matter how hard you try, you can't tear your eyes from the screen. Teresa, <laughs> no! One of the best, or worst, depending on your point of view, occurred in the first episode of season 3 and at a christening, no less. Problems arose when Teresa attempted to congratulate Joe and Melissa despite already having done so earlier. With tempers flying high, it was only a matter of time before things got physical, and boy, did they ever. Joe Gorga and Joe Judice were at each other's throats once again. And while someone was screaming, you are family, over and over, it clearly fell on deaf ears. This christening can be summed up in one word, mayhem. It's a kid's christening! Joe, please! Joey, please! Hold on, hold on. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Do not break up my family! You f***ing my face. Do not break up my family! You f***ing bitch! You piece of You f***ing 
fucking bitch! You mother you are a piece of garbage! You talked about my son. I did not talk about your son. You didn't? I, Maybe no. you should read your cookbook. The sh that never ends. What happened? Like, is there a full moon out tonight or what? No, I what mean, happened? <laughs> I don't, what happened? Cuckoo, cuckoo. What? Yeah, Father's untouchable! The hurt that who's is yelling? That? You know who's yelling. I'll fucking rip her fucking head off! I swear to Christ! You better wash your fucking tongue, because I'll cut it right the fuck out! Damn. Look at you, be an old fing old lady with your vacant square tits! What a sadistic, twisted bitch. Number one, Teresa flips the table. In the pantheon of the Real Housewives of New Jersey's craziest moments, Teresa's infamous table flip stands alone. Prostitution whore! You are fing days 19 times! You fing stupid bitch! The outburst was the culmination of a night filled with profanity riddled tirades and constant squabbling from all the housewives. The night started off with Danielle and Caroline going toe to toe, as they've been known to do, but the fight soon grew to include the entire dinner party. I'm not, I wasn't gonna say anything, but you trying to act like you had nothing to do with it? I see it to do with it! However, it wasn't until Danielle and Teresa started exchanging words that things truly got out of hand. Taking place all the way back in season one, this remains one of a handful of moments fans will never forget. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.